Hey guys, so before we start today I want to make a short appeal. I'd like to ask for your support and help for uh, one of my colleagues who restores his car and uh, makes videos exactly like me, but uh, he's still in his early stage of his uh, YouTube channel and uh, due to the new rules that uh, YouTube are putting in effect from February 20th I think, he's gonna lose his monetization of his channel and uh, the new rules require that uh, creators like me and uh, actually th what they call us partners so partners who don't have more than 1000 subscribers and they don't have more than 4000 hours of uh, viewing time for the last one year will lose their monetization of their channel it's always uh, the hope that one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna see one of your videos went viral and you made a little bit of money for your effort uh, to put videos up there because believe me it's not that easy there's a lot of effort into um, working with camera around you have to be always aware where your camera is you always have to be aware what the light is you always have to be aware uh, if your camera is in focus and also it's uh, the other part the video editing when you go home instead of grabbing a beer and watching the movie or the game you have to sit down on the computer and spend a couple of hours in editing and uh, making sure that uh, you have interesting product that you upload and it is entertaining for other people uh, I'm talking about Chris Fisher I mentioned him a couple of times in my previous videos and I, I like his channel, I like how he restores his car and uh, how he learns on the way, the way I do it so I really uh, see a lot of common points between me and him so um, my appeal is go and see his channel, I'm gonna put the link here and uh, go check his channel, see what he does, if you like it, if you like his content please click that uh, subscribe button it's not gonna cost you anything but that's gonna make a big difference for him if you like my channel you're gonna like his channel as well and I like it and believe me I am a person who doesn't have too much time and it's, I'm not subscribed to too many channels I'm subscribed to just a few channels and uh, he is one of them so I think that it is worth it to, to be checked so thank you so much I'm not gonna waste any more of your time so let's go restore some cars now thank you all right so we are back to square one do you remember this was the area where the restoration started so um, <coughs> if you remember I welded all these I made thousand little patches here and welded everything so now we're gonna cut everything off I'm just kidding <laughs> we gotta finish it we gotta finish it here with this uh, finishing piece this was the finishing piece that was going here and that's how it was right so I took it out and I said that I'm gonna buy a new one to replace it so what happened is I bought a new one and I asked Chef Tash to replace it so I gave him the piece and he said it doesn't fit and, ah, what are you talking about? It's, how come it's not fitting? It's a new piece. It doesn't fit. Come here. So I came over and that's what the new piece looks like. So that's how it goes. But you see those two ends start curving way too early. So I don't really know what am I supposed to do here? I need to know how far away am I from the shape but because of this shape I just can't fit it there properly so what I think I'm gonna do I have the old piece here I'm gonna try to make the old piece fit again and it's not gonna be that hard I guess to make it fit again and once this piece fits again then I can use it as a template and see how bad is this new piece and for the new one, I don't know, I was thinking with heat here, maybe I can stretch it, I can open it a little bit. I can't use the uh, shrinker and stretcher here because I have two lips, so I can't put it in the shrinker and stretcher. So my only hope is that I'm going to be able to heat it here a little bit with the torch and bend it out. But I need to know 
How much? Oh, by the way, I bought a wireless mic a couple of weeks ago and it was a cheap one and of course it already failed. I've heard before there's a saying in the UK, I'm not so rich to buy cheap shoes. Well, I thought I was so rich that I could afford buying a cheap wireless mic, but it turned out that I wasn't that rich. So anyways, uh, I have a couple of clips here with a horrible sound and I will have to do a voiceover on them, but uh, as you can hear, my voice doesn't work very well because I'm a little bit sick. So I'm sorry about that, but you have to bear with me. So here I already have the old piece shaped to the original shape and I compare it with the new one and you can see clearly how the new one is uh, way too close at the two ends. So I will have to do something to match the old shape, but at least now I have a template to work with, which is uh, great. So before I go ahead and start bending the whole finishing piece, I wanted to practice a little bit on the at the end on this piece which was going to be cut out anyways and to be able to put it in the vise I needed some spacer inside so I don't uh, squeeze it too hard and the closest thing to what I needed was in my pocket some change these are uh, two Canadian dollars the so-called tunis so I started heating it up with a propane torch and um, and it didn't take long to prove that this was the way because even though the pair of uh, vice grips was slipping a little bit uh, the shape started changing smoothly so I, I liked the idea and I went ahead and uh, started bending the piece where I needed it to be bent from my test though I realized that I couldn't use the, the vice grips because they were gonna slip so I decided to go ahead and clamp it in the vice as you can see and I was hoping that I wasn't going to dent it because I was going to use just a little bit of force with the screw and you see now I pushed a little bit and it got bent really nice and smooth right here and there are no dents which is fantastic So I played for a while with uh, one side, I was really careful because I didn't want to dent the piece. And you see how it opens, that's so nice. <laughs> of course I was checking constantly with my template but the most important part was to see how it fits on the car and it's already there where I want it. Here the last two or two and a half inches need to be cut right there but uh, yeah it looks great so back on the vise for the other side and you can see clearly here how different it is than what it needs to be I had to hit both lips and because they weren't touching it was hard to to keep them both uh, hot, red hot, but um, I managed from a little bit from underneath, a little bit from the top. Okay, so you get the idea. Slowly, slowly I brought it to the desired shape and then I put it on the car and marked where I need to cut it and cut the two ends. And then I test fitted it on the car and I was so happy that it fit like a glove this time. Even the length, I thought I cut it a little bit shorter 
and I was really upset at myself, but actually it was uh, perfect length. That of course is just a test fit, so now I have to take it out and uh, prime inside, put silicone and put it on and weld it. But I run into a small problem and I'm gonna show you here my original reaction, even though the sound is not very good. So do you see what I see? Right there. It's just a little hole in the windshield frame. But of course, as you know, when there's one, there's more. There couldn't be just one. So I started digging a little bit more and this is what I found. There was also a big crack, maybe three inches long, right under the lip. So I was so upset because if I knew that, I, sh I could have fixed it when I was uh, repairing the roof. Now the only way to fix that is to cut the roof again. So that's my negligence. I should have checked that before. But uh, yeah, now I have to do the job one more time. So I took the wire wheel and ran it under the lip from one end to the other. And I found two more areas that were uh rusted not that bad like the one in the center which doesn't make sense for me because why would i have rust right in the highest area instead of the side but uh doesn't really matter because i have to fix it right so let's go ahead and do that here and I won't be able to use the shrink and stretcher so I might just do two shorter pieces that are going to be perfectly straight but will be welded in a way that creates a little bit of a curve if you know what I mean. trying to keep it in one piece because I want to keep the profile so I can duplicate it but it looks like it's not going to be very easy to do that. <coughs> one because this one I ruined it. Why can't I take those apart without ruining them? Right, obviously I can't take it apart without ruining it. So we we'll have to figure out another way how to bend a piece of metal to this shape. Oh. 
All right, this is going to be our test piece, probably one of many. <laughs> so we're going to try to bend this one and this one, the internal first. So, and then a little bit further. Actually, it's not bad. Let's test it. But before we test it, we're gonna shorten these plunges. Actually, not bad at all. It's half an hour later, so. Um, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either, so I decided to do another trial and then another one. I think this is the third one, and I finally came up with something that is very close to the original shape. It looks a little bit low here, but actually that's what I want. I want it to be lower, so the other piece that comes on top is going to uh, come to this height here. So I'm going to use this as a template, and now I'm going to attempt to do two pieces, actually I'm going to make three and even I have to do four pieces so maybe I'm going to do one long piece and another half an hour later I have this which is pretty much matching this so now I'm just going to cut a small portion what we're gonna do with it. plug welds here, I need to make new holes at this piece. I need to do the plug welds in order to be able then to hammer this back. Because here it's, it needs to go in a little.
think I'm gonna go home now. I'm done for the night, but uh, yeah, there's still more to do here, but I'm gonna continue tomorrow, and for you it's gonna be, as usual, probably two seconds. But now I feel more confident that this is gonna turn out nicely because I was really scared about this. Now, it is, it looks good. It's, uh, I should have seen it before when I had the whole roof open. But it is what it is. I missed it somehow. Boy, is that car small. I don't know how am I going to drive this. Can you imagine if I restore it and it's too small for me and I can't even fit inside? It's If my head hits the headliner, I'm going to cut it open. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Alright, next day. And I'm ready. I clean this up. I clean this up, grind it inside, and now I can weld it. All right, so I'm gonna finish welding it. I still have to weld, I uh, still have to cut one patch out of here and one here. So I'm gonna finish welding it and uh, I'm gonna bring you back at some point, but uh, I don't wanna bother you with the same repair over and over again because we already saw one. So it's basically the same way for the others, right? All right, so one more is done and I opened two more. These are the last ones, but I'm too lazy to close them now. Actually, I think I came up with a better idea. How about that, huh? I think I like it. And these are very bright. These are LEDs, so they will last forever. I like them. A little bit offset, but nobody's gonna notice. All right, since you don't like the idea, closing them. But I thought it was cool. All right, so two nights and what, I think five hours, about five or six hours later, we are back to where we were two nights ago. So anyways, that's going to be everything for today, and oh, Elena, they're so heavy, it's bent my ashtray, uh, bent my ashtray with my ass. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be it for today, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and in the next video we're going to start again on this finishing piece here, and uh, we'll see how it fits now. I'm sure it's gonna fit well, the problem was here. So take care, see you later.